Cracky. Hello everyone, it's Nady, and today is another very big day. Today we are launching the Pop Lux Winter Highlighter Collection. Before we get into this, I just have to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everyone's support of my first launch. I thought I would sell maybe 10 highlighters, but with the help of my amazing followers tweeting out my products to the big wigs and then those big wigs reviewing my products, suddenly the Pop Lux highlighters are all around the world in every continent except Antarctica because it's Antarctica. This whole experience is just proof that no matter how big you are or how small you feel, if you have a dream, run towards that goal. Because the closer you are to that goal, the closer you are to realizing that there is no limit to your existence. You can be what you want to be and you can do what you want to do. So thank you all so very much from the deepest, most loving part of my core for all of your support. I know a shit ton of YouTubers say that, but I don't think you realize exactly how much you mean to me. You all inspire me to keep filming and formulating. We're already working on the next two launches and whether you know it or not, I slip little ideas into certain places just to get your feedback and reaction. So in reality, you are helping create the future launches. You, my loves, are just as big of a part of Pop Lux as I am. And with that being said, let's take a look at this collection. This season, I decided to launch three highlighters, and all of them are so special to me. First, we'll start with the tamest of the bunch, which is Dior. Dior is the French word for golden, which this definitely is. It's a deep, kind of creamy chestnut undertone with a golden shine. This is, of course, very buttery, very pigmented, but I made this with the medium, deep to deeper skin tone person in mind just to give them that glow like every day is a holiday. If you're not a deeper skin toned person, you can definitely use this as a blush or bronzer topper because it has those deeper undertones the chestnut will show through on lighter skin. And of course, let's go ahead and swatch this bad boy. Ooh, yes, so fucking creamy. Oh my god, just look at that shine. Is that not beautiful? And let's go ahead and put a little of this beast on my face. With this, you really only need like one tap and you're set. It's just like the first collection where they are so fucking pigmented. And here we go. Oh. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, shit, do you see that? Oh, damn, does that glow make me miss Miami or what? Oh, yes. All right, on to the next one. These next two shades kind of had a theme for me, which was universality, meaning products that can be used by pretty much anyone. Or at least by multiple skin colors and not just neutral skin tones, but cool and warm as well. I just feel like with so many beauty products these days, you have to be really picky because a lot of them won't match our skin. We want products that we trust will look good on us. Products that when we reach for them, we know it'll look like some sick ass good shit on our face, you know? Which is exactly what our next highlighters will give you. Here we have Platonic. At first, this might look like an average boring silvery highlighter, but no, <laughs> no, 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 no. When swatched and put on the skin, this shifts from silver to gold, opening the highlighter doors up to so many people. For individuals favoring silver, this gives you that nice metallic sheen while adding a slight sun-kissed touch. And for those who want a California beach golden shine, this will give you that, but also add a glimmer of winter ice. This is probably one of the most unique duochromed highlighters that I've ever seen. I just... Oh, I love it. I called this one platonic because silver and gold are literally the bestest of friends and they look so amazing together, but because they're so different, their relationship remains platonic. Anywho, let's try this bitch on. Oh, oh my, yes. Oh fucking hell, just look at that shit. See how it has that icy glow to it, but when the light hits it, it's just like a sunbeam hitting your face? Oh. Damn, that's pretty. And this is definitely one of my all-time favorite highlighters because it works for so many people. Like, it looks so freaking weird in the pan, but then when you put it on your skin, it's like magic. Oh, yes, I love it. And speaking of magic, we come to the third and final highlighter in this collection, Black Ice. I know some of you may be thinking, ew, a gray highlighter. Though this does look gray in the pan, the moment this product touches your skin, your body heat transforms it into a silvery gloss that's virtually universal. And if you don't believe me, let's pull out the blow dryer. Ready? Oh. All right, stop that, and ooh, it might be going back slowly. Ooh, look, it is starting to turn back. Anyways, this product is perfect for almost any skin tone when you apply it using your fingers. I would probably categorize this as a skin gloss, meaning it adds kind of like a silvery, wet-like sheen to your skin. However, if you do want a silvery glow with pink undertones, apply this baby with a brush and a light hand, and you will not be disappointed. All right, let's go ahead and try this baby on, but before we do, I just want to make a note that this will not swatch like the other ones do. Because this is a gloss, it's more of like an invisible pigment. Like, this is what it looks like on the finger, and then on the hand, it's just kind of like a colorless sheen. Which is kind of what makes it so perfect for so many different people. But, let's go ahead and put this on my face. Oh, fuck yeah. See how it just, like, melted into the skin, but added a touch of wetness? Like, it's not really even a color, it's just highlight. I personally think that gently patting this in with your finger is the way to go, but let's go ahead and try this with a brush. And here we go. Oh, 
Fuck yes. Damn, it just looks like silver metal on my skin with that slight pink hue underneath. Oh, I know this is my own shit and I should not be tooting my own horn, but I just fucking adore this. Since this is the last one, let's go ahead and apply some to the other side too. Oh, yes. And all these products make excellent eyeshadows, eyeshadow toppers, lip toppers, pretty much anything you can think of. All of these products are cruelty free, paraben free, they're vegan, they're shipped using recycled materials, and of course they're packaged, formulated, and produced by me. Shipping is available world wide excluding areas that require testing on animals because that's kind of a big no-no here. Like usual, these highlighters are $23. They come to you just like this with a postcard inside a big box. And again, I cannot thank you all enough for your constant support. It literally means the world to me. If any of you have a question regarding this collection or just a question in general, please feel free to fill out a form on the Poplux website, which I will link down below. I hope you all have had a beautiful year and I really look forward to the magic we'll create together in the following year. Please stay safe this holiday season and if you see somebody who looks like they could really use a hug for fuck's sake, give them a damn hug. Please feel free to follow me on social media so that you can get updates to coupon codes or sales we might be having. And also, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.